James, can I start by asking you to tell us about Horizon and how you got involved with it? We've always known that there have been huge disparities, not just in access to educational resources, but everything that goes around that, whether it's music or sport or other arts. And look at those students who, at school, sit next to each other, sit on the same desk and yet have such unequal amounts at home. And so we got started, and that was a good 18 months ago. And we now have a charity that is set up with the Charity Commission, so Horizons officially exists, and we're ready to go. Well, very well done indeed, and I think it's a very, very exciting project. And as I said to you before we came in, because what you find in life often is things are very theoretical, and it's just, can't we do something for kids? And you go, and then the room goes quiet. I mean, you can't save the planet in one go mm. but this fact it's so specifically geographically in one place you think well, we're starting somewhere and we're genuinely chipping away